Mm, hello and welcome to the Redline Communications TV White Space webinar. My name is uh, Julian Bularanu and I'm the Technical Solution Manager for Redline Communications. About Redline. Redline was founded in 1999 and we have uh, employees in 14 countries we are listed at the Toronto Stock Exchange and we deployed projects in over 70 countries. We deploy complete solution together with uh, our partners and we have more than 61 patents for technology. Our main markets are industrial, government and telecom. Redline focus markets are uh, telecom with uh, special attention uh, to rural connectivity. Uh, here we have uh, customers uh, as uh, Orange, MTN, Inuidu, and also uh, focus on uh, business to business access and backhaul uh, for uh, different applications like 2G, 3G, 4G sites. Another focus market is government, where uh, we deploy uh, projects as smart cities, defense, surveillance, and uh, intelligence uh, transport systems. For uh, defense, we work uh, with uh, customers as uh, USDOD, Canadian Army, Jordan, Morocco, uh, NATO and uh, other uh, defense uh, type of customers. And uh, for uh, smart cities, uh, we usually work uh, with uh, police forces. The same in US, Canada, Mexico, Egypt, Turkey, and many other uh, countries. For uh, the energy uh, industrial market, uh, our main focus uh, are uh, oil and gas and mining. For uh, oil and gas, we are the main uh, solution uh, for uh, wireless. And we bring also a lot of experience for mining being a Canadian company. Our uh, big customers, for example, in uh, oil and gas are Shell, Chevron, Total, and all the big players uh, in this market. And for mining, uh, one of the biggest customers is Anglo-American. In the next slide, we'll present a little bit about the Redline architecture. We have uh, two main uh, line of products, uh, virtual fiber, which is a transport network, and uh, mobile uh, networks uh, with industrial LTE, which are access networks. And uh, virtual fiber main applications are uh, business to business, uh, analytics, high resolution cameras, and backhauling in Odbiz. And for LTE, the main solutions are uh, mobile devices, uh, machine to machine communication, IoT, AMI type of solutions, and first responders. We offer also uh, a full uh, a core uh, solution with uh, full EPC, notar management system, and uh, also we have a push to talk flex core server. So, our um, product portfolio can be split uh, also uh, in two type of uh, products industrial products and commercial products. With uh, the main difference uh, being the enclosure of the radios. For uh, industrial uh, radios, we have uh, full certifications uh, for ATEX explosion proof areas as uh, ATEX zone one and uh, zone two. So here uh, in the first uh, image, you can see our base stations for industrial applications. Uh, the first one are RDL 3000 virtual fiber and then the industrial LT RDL 6000 type of base station. Then you can see the fixed uh, subscribers. Uh, 
than our nomadic type of subscribers and accessories and mobile subscribers. For the commercial portfolio, the base station is exactly the same as for the industrial type of uh, products, but for the CPEs, we have the same radio, but in a different enclosure, which is more cost effective for commercial customers like ISPs. For the software, as explained, we offer a full suit of uh, softwares for our uh, solutions. We have a full EPC, NMS, IMS, and push-to-talk server. And our services uh, are uh, from consulting, designing, deploying, and managing networks, and we'll go in more details in the next slide. The frequencies we cover for uh, LTE are uh, all the 3GPP bands. Our LTE solution, it's a standard 3GPP solution. And for uh, virtual fiber, we cover frequencies from 450 up to 6 gigahertz. So we have um, uh, different SKUs. The first one is the UHF band, TVY space band, which starts with 470 up to 698 megahertz. Then the next queue of radios for virtual fiber is uh, 2 gigahertz up to 2.3 gigahertz. The next one is from 2.3 up to 2.7 gigahertz. Then the next queue is from uh, 3.3 up to 3.8 gigahertz. And uh, the most deployed uh, skew of uh, products is uh, the unlicensed 4.9 up to 5.9 gigahertz. All these uh, radios, they share the same platform. The configurations are exactly the same, only the front edge and radio is different. So when uh, you will deploy any of these uh, frequencies, the only difference uh, will be in the configuration, you will set the right frequency for the right queue. Everything else is the same. Main objectives for today are uh, to set correct expectation for uh, TVY space. Uh, and uh, this is part of our uh, TVY space uh, toolbox. Uh, we'll, we'll review the basic uh, rules, database management, uh, and uh, we'll discuss about the Redline Virtual Fiber platform. Also, uh, we'll show you how to access uh, the resources and materials for the Redline TV white space. Why TV white space matters uh, for us now? We started uh, the deployments of TV white space uh, four years ago, and uh, we started with uh, UHF radios 2013, but the market was uh, not uh, accessible at that moment. The, regulatories were not implementing uh, the regulations as committed. So uh, in the last uh, few years, uh, we started to see traction for uh, this uh, spectrum in TV white space. So uh, in the last uh, years with uh, the Microsoft Airband uh, initiative uh, and with uh, all the funding we see for uh, rural access, uh, we see a big growth in the TVI space requests. It's important to mention that TVI space uh, is the only uh, uh, unlicensed uh, sub uh, one gigahertz band with enough spectrum and good uh, no loss performance. Okay, more about the rural founding. For example, in US, we see a big allocation of funds uh, for uh, rural connectivity with the uh, main focus on education, community research, health, rural businesses, and also agriculture.
and we consider the na that now is time uh, for uh, actual uh, rural connectivity with the existing government funding. In the past, uh, we have seen also a lot of uh, noise and a lot of uh, interest for TVY space, but uh, the funding was not there and also the regulations were not there. But uh, in the last year, and uh, especially the start of this year, we see a lot of focus also from the local regulator uh, to implement the databases uh, and uh, make these uh, frequencies uh, useful. TVY space main purpose is to bridge the digital divide and uh, to enable remote learning, hospital connectivity, connect communities uh, and raise the quality of lives and provide communication in uh, emergency situations. About TVI space fundamentals and how uh, the communication with the TV wise pay database uh, is performed. So uh, Redline enrolls each unit with the TV wise space database as part or the, of the order fulfillment. And uh, the TV wise space uh, sector and subscriber obtain available channels uh, from the database. First, the SC will connect with the TVI space database. And then uh, after the connection is done between the remote unit and subscriber, also uh, the subscriber will connect uh, with the database. The subscriber cannot connect uh, with uh, the database on the LAN port. This is a very important uh, thing to remember when is about the database. Okay. This database enables shared spectrum. This is uh, the main objective uh, of uh, the database in each country. The deployment steps are uh, first to run the spectrum sweep uh, on uh, the available band. Each red line radio holds the base station and subscriber. They have a spectrum analyzer included and you are able to run spectrum sweeps uh, on all the radios. After uh, identifying the spectrum you want to use, you need to match it with the corresponding channels uh, available from the database. About uh, TVI space best practice, as part of uh, Redline TVI space onboarding strategy, we have a number of documents uh, and videos to assist uh, you with uh, the first deployments. The first document will be the TVI space uh, guidance document, which covers best practices. The second one will be the TVI space uh, test document, which is a step-by-step -step procedure on how to test uh, the band and uh, how to operate the radio. And uh, on the Redline website, we have a free online training for the TVI space uh, and uh, product based in configuration plus multiple other uh, trainings uh, which will be useful, including uh, the grounding and other uh, advanced configuration type of trainings for uh, the virtual fiber TV space radios. So all these uh, documents uh, and access to our uh, free uh, trainings are available based uh, on uh, our channel program. So you will need to sign uh, a channel uh, 
agreement with uh, Redline Partner Program. Now, in the next part, we'll discuss uh, about uh, each uh, radio. First, we'll start with uh, base station radio. The base station radio is called the ellipse sector controller. And uh, below, uh, you can see all the details uh, for uh, the ellipse sector controller TVI space uh, for uh, our virtual fiber. So the frequency starts from 470 to 614 for the FCC version. This uh, part is uh, only for the FCC version of the radio and the next slide will be for the Etsy version. So the technology is OFDM 2x2 MIMO TDD. This is an FPGA radio. The modulation and coding we support are from, from BSPSK 1x2 up to 256 7 by 8. Uh, the capacity for uh, the sector is 186 megabits UBR, which means around 160 megabits real throughput. The channels available for the FCC version are 6, 12, 18, and 24 megahertz. The database we use uh, is the red database before uh, it, it was the nominet. Well, the option keys are preloaded in the factory. From uh, the sector, you will have only one uh, cable coming down on, from the tower, which will be also for data and power. Uh, the power consumption is less than uh, 17 watts and the uh, supporting temperatures are from uh, minus 40 up to 60 degrees. Uh, also, it's important to mention that this is an IP67 uh, radio. All our radios are IP67 rated. For the Etsy version of the base station, we have uh, Almost the same features. The main differences uh, will be the channel supported and uh, also the frequency. So uh, for uh, the Etsy version, we support from 470 up to 698 megahertz compared with the FCC version where we support from 470 up to 614 megahertz. The same uh, size, weight, the same uh, configurations, everything else is the same. So the weight of a radio is 2.7 kilos. More about the base station for both the Etsy version and FCC version. It is a software defined radio, TDD, the maximum throughput. Uh, is uh, up to 160 megabits and uh, up to 186 UBR for 20 megahertz channel. For frequency use, uh, we use uh, fixed frame profiles. Each radio has uh, a GPS for the base station, so this enables fixed frame uh, directly without uh, no need for uh, other parts to be ordered later. And for fixed frame profiles, you use 50-50 symmetrical traffic or uh, 20-75, 75-25, depending if you need an uplink centric traffic or downlink centric traffic. The GPS, uh, it's used also for uh, location and uh, timing for uh, enabling the fixed frame. Each sector supports up to 120 remotes. For uh, TVY space, we usually uh, deploy it with uh, 120 degrees antenna, which uh, will uh, enable up to 360 remotes per base station. For other frequency, usually deploy with uh, 90 degrees antenna, which will enable up to 480 remotes per base station. And all our sectors come with a redundancy option. And again, all are also ATEX rated. So 
all the base stations and CPE. They came with uh, flavors for ATEX Zone 1 and Zone 2. Uh, so we have the certification for this explosion proof type of areas for all over the world. So there are three certifications you need depending on the area in the world where you deploy. And for ATEX Zone 2, we have all these three certifications. The next part will be the about the commercial units for TV white space. The FCC version and what it comes in the box. So this is how it looks, the FCC uh, CP radio. So uh, the enterprise CP comes in the box with the radio. The, for the radio, the option key is already loaded from the factory. You will have a lightweight mounting kit and an Ethernet portal gland. For the Etsy version, the same. You will have uh, the radio. This uh, the option key is not uh, loaded from the factory. You will need to load it uh, after receiving the radio. You will have the lightweight mounting kit, the Ethernet port gland, and also an ACPOE. For the CPEs, the operating temperature is from minus 40 up to 60 degrees. And important, the takes power is uh, 22 dB multiplied uh, with 2 being a MIMOR radio. And again, important to remember, the Etsy radio covers from 470 up to 698 MHz and the FCC covers from 470 up to 614 MHz. Common future, uh, features for uh, the Etsy and the FCC CPEs are listed below. So uh, both are optimized for enterprise applications, 2 by 2 MIMO, uh, the throughput is up to 100 megabits per radio. Both can operate in point-to-point -point and point-to-multipoint, so any two CPEs from Redline can connect to each other and co uh, form a point-to-point -point link. Uh, we have rapid auto-provisioning for all our uh, subscribers. Uh, we support uh, enhanced video burst handling, video traffic smoothing. For the security, both radios support AS128 and AS256. Uh, uh, these are enabled from the start uh, with uh, no uh, extra cost. Both are IP67 rated and uh, both require external antennas. The Power consumption is at maximum is less than uh, 17 watts. And uh, we have uh, like most deployments are uh, with uh, solar uh, panels. So this uh, radio was designed from the start to support uh, this uh, remote location type uh, of deployments with uh, very low power consumption. For the power consumption, we have a table, and depending of uh, the load on each uh, sector and CP, you can calculate the exact power consumption per CP, which will be always less than 10 watts. As uh, being a TDD radio in point to multi point, you'll not have a load bigger uh, than 50% uh, of. Uh, of uh, the scheduler. And for secure uh, interfaces, we have we are using HTTPS, SSH, and SNMP v3. In the next uh, slides, we'll discuss uh, about the full family of uh, products for virtual fiber. So what we discussed now, it was uh, only the Ellipse Base Station and the Enterprise for TVY space, only for the SKU, which is from 470 up to 698. 
but the same radio can be deployed in multiple other frequencies as explained at the start we support 470 698 20 to 2.3 gigahertz 2.3 gigahertz to 2.7 gigahertz 3.3 up to 3.8 gigahertz and 4.9 up to 5.9 gigahertz and it is exactly the same configuration and exactly the same type of radio and also the industrial radios support exactly the same frequencies and uh, this gives you the advantage that uh, deploying a network you can connect also specialized cpes for industrial applications or military applications directly in your network. So you'll not be uh, forced when uh, participating, for example, for an RFP for uh, an oil and gas application or a military application to deploy a new network. No, you can connect these specialized CPEs, which are explosion proof type of CPEs or uh, secure CPEs with 100. FIPS 140-2 for a special military application or nomadic type of CPs for vessel connectivity, you will be able to connect all these directly to your network with no extra cost. And uh, in the next uh, few slides, we'll present uh, this uh, specialized industrial uh, and military type of CPs. So the first uh, one, uh, here, as you see, the Elise Bay Station supports all these uh, enterprise CPs, rapid alignment systems for uh, land vehicle connectivity or vessel connectivity. The Elite and Edge family are uh, the military grade type of CPs, and Connect are uh, the industrial CPs specialized for oil and gas and mining type of deployments. For the Connect family, Connect family has the full certification for ATEC Zone 2, plus has some CPs which are uh, specialized for uh, some uh, uh, particular cases for oil and gas. So you will have uh, CPs which will have uh, serial ports in order to connect with the legacy RTUs SCADA system from uh, old fields of oil and gas. And also we have a, a CP which will have an external antenna as in some oil and gas fields is required for the radio to be placed indoor and only the antenna to be placed outdoor. And this summarize the Connect family of products. And then we have the endurance CP which is the hazardous zone one certified CP which can be deployed in the most stringent areas uh, with explosion gases. Again, a very special type of CP for oil and gas. And this is available in all the frequencies, including the frequency of TVY's phase from 470 up to 698. So deploying a TVY space frequency and network you'll be able to connect this uh, explosion proof type uh, of uh, CPEs for oil and gas in your network in the same frequency. Some uh, details about uh, the red line uh, virtual fiber. So, uh, one of the big advantages are the environment uh, being uh, rated from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees. The spectrum supported, as explained, is from 450 megahertz up to 6 gigahertz. Secure certification for FIPS 140-2 uh, for uh, military type of application. This is the certification requested by the USDOD for uh, their deployments and we support AS 128 and 256, of course. And uh, also, again, these are Zone 1, Zone 2 certified radios. In the next part, uh, I want to present few of our uh, specialized radios, uh, which also support the UHF uh, frequency. 
Oh, the first one is the RAS Elite. Uh, this, in fact, is just in the five years as uh, the antenna design doesn't support uh, this type uh, of frequency. And uh, this is one of the most deployed uh, CPEs in oil and gas. But uh, as explained, it's exactly the same radio as uh, the UHF. So this is RDR3000 family of products for red line. Then we have the RAS Extend Land Vehicle CPE, which supports also the TVY space UHF frequency. It is an integrated solution and uh, it's self aligning. So after the first uh, deployment, you will not touch uh, any of the configuration. It will always uh, self align. All our uh, nomadic uh, rapid alignment systems have uh, GPS is included, uh, which will be used uh, to determine a map and uh, also synchronization if needed. And this CP supports all the frequency bands. And then we have the RAS Extend Marine, which is uh, the rapid alignment system designed for uh, offshore. It can connect uh, vessels up to 100 kilometers uh, from the base station. Uh, it has uh, geotracking uh, and the network topology awareness. So uh, when it will move from a sector to another, it will not rescan the network. It will just connect to the next available base station according to the map. And it has uh, two GPSs. Uh, in order to tackle uh, issues uh, for uh, the marine environment as pitch and roll and even provides bearing when stationary. And it supports all the frequency bands, UHF 470-698 to 1, which in fact is 2.0 up to 2.3, 2.3 to 7, 3.3.3.8 and 4.9.6 gigahertz. About Redline uh, Advanced Services, together with our partners, we provide the full uh, services for integrating networks from consulting uh, with identifying radio spectrum. Then uh, we provide uh, design, including uh, IP network design, wireless uh, RF design and capacity planning full deployment services, including certification, training, acceptance test protocols, FATs, and uh, network audits. And uh, for support, which provide 24 by seven support and uh, also uh, preventive uh, type of maintenance plans. This uh, concludes uh, our uh, presentation for today. 